Hey everybody out there, James Donaldson. Hey, I just wanted to come and share with you some thoughts I've been having in regards to mental health. And one of the reasons I really got into the next chapter of my life, being a voice and an advocate uh, for mental health awareness and suicide prevention. About a year ago, uh, 2017, uh, my life took a turn for the worse. Uh, and it wasn't because things I was doing crazy like substance abuse or uh, drinking or any of those kind of crazy things. I, I don't do those things. I never have done those things. And I want to encourage anybody going through what I went through uh, not to resort to those things if you can help it. But about a year ago, I had uh, some serious health problems going on. And I've had two or three surgeries uh, following up with that, which left me just a shell of my former, uh, you know, top flight uh, athletic self I used to be years ago when I played professional basketball and college basketball. Uh, I went through a lot of financial challenges trying to keep my long running business afloat and alive and kept pouring my life savings into it until I basically drained it down to nothing. Um, and the business eventually did close. I just simply couldn't keep up with it anymore. Uh, finance companies just weren't going to finance me anymore. Uh, I had run out of my own personal money and I had to close the business and therefore my income went away with that. Uh, I went through a very difficult personal breakup of a long-standing relationship with a wonderful woman that I thought I would spend the rest of my life with and her wonderful little boy, little 10-year-old boy that uh, one day they just decided to pack up and move on, not necessarily because of what I was going through. I don't think they had a clue. I was hiding it pretty well from the world, but uh, they just decided it was time for, for them to move on. And that left me devastated, having to come home every day to a big empty house all by myself. And the walls just have a tendency to close in on you when uh, you're sitting here by yourself in deep thought. Uh, I found myself a lot of restless, sleepless nights, uh, night after night after night, and finally decided, hey, this is not me. Something's wrong. So I called my doctor and asked him uh, if I can come in and see him and just describe some of what I was going through. He diagnosed me with anxiety, uh, depression, uh, suicidal tendencies, the whole gamut. Put me on prescription medications, even though I'm not a big proponent of medication. I went along with it because it was part of the treatment. And slowly but surely, after reaching out to my medical professionals, uh, then reaching out to a close intimate group of friends who have been there and will be there throughout, uh, they put me on their speed dials, I put them on my speed dials, and they said, hey James, even at two in the morning, call us. And that was really welcomed in my life. That helped me get through. and. Uh, I'm well on the other side of all of that now. Uh, it's been a long journey, uh, a very difficult one, one of the most difficult things I've ever done in my life. Uh, a very lonely journey many times, most times. Um, people just don't quite understand the despair somebody can find themselves in uh, unless they've actually been there themselves. I tell you what, it's given me a great sense of empathy more than ever before uh, to understand exactly what people must be going through. One of the things that really turned me around was uh, the fact that at my alma mater, Washington State University, a young college athlete, student athlete, star quarterback, took his life in January. This is Tyler Helensky, uh, and he was a absolute phenom on the football field. Uh, great promises ahead of him. Uh, opportunities to play in the professional ranks and all kind of wonderful things. So when he took his life in January, it just resonated with me so that I just had to shake myself out of what I was going through and told myself, James, you, it's not time for you to check out yet. You've got work to do and you can make a difference. And I set out to start up a new nonprofit foundation that will give me that platform to go around the country and speak to students, student groups, student athletes, athletic teams of all stripes and backgrounds. And this is what I really want to set out to do. I just wanted to share that with you and say thank you so much for your support and encouragement to keep me keeping on. James Donaldson.